so let's just quickly go through a little bit on um, circuit flow and electrical circuits. So remember that to talk about electricity, we need to talk about the basics of voltage, current, and resistance. So you need to understand those three fundamental quantities. And there's a relationship between those that you've seen in other videos called Ohm's Law. Right? So current is the flow of electrical energy or charge and it's measured in amps. Voltage is the electrical force that pushes current through, causes it to flow. It's like pressure in a pump. And resistance is what opposes current flow and it's measured in ohms. So if we look at this analogy it may help you understand. Um, the force it that causes water to flow between those two tanks is the difference in the height of the water, right? And that valve in the center would be the resistance to flow. Obviously, if we close it more, then there's going to be more resistance to flow. If we open it more, there will be less resistance, right? And then you can see the water moving through the pipe then is the flow of current. So let's look at a flashlight just to go through a simple circuit schematic. All right, there's a flashlight, all right, and there is in the flashlight a light bulb, a switch, and a voltage source, and there are also electrical connections all the way through there. So if we represented that in a schematic, it would look like this. This would be the load, okay, or the resistance. This would be the switch and this would be the battery or the voltage source. So this gives you an idea of three different ways we can look at a flashlight. So current only flows when the switch is closed. And the so when it's closed we have a closed loop and then current can flow through driven by the power of the battery. In the open circuit no current will flow because it's open and you see the light bulb is not illuminated. All right? So the lamp is still the resistance, but it's not using any energy because there's no current flowing. All right? Conventional current flow says that current flows out of the positive terminal. But because we know what actually happens is the flow of electrons, which are negatively charged, um, it actually flows out of the negative terminal of the battery when we are looking at a schematic, the negative terminal is the short side at the representation. All right, so um, engineering versus science, uh, the direction of current flow doesn't really affect anything. Um, the science disciplines do tend to use electron flow, however, engineers tend to use conventional current flow. All right. And then we've talked about Ohm's law, V equals I times R, or I equals the voltage divided by the resistance. You have to have everything in the fundamental units. This is why we talked about scientific and engineering notation. You have to be able to move out of milli and kilo and mega to the base units. All right? Remember, we can use Ohm's law to triangle. We cover the quantity we want to solve for and the other gives us the relationship. So in the first triangle, we can see that I equals V divided by R, R equals V divided by I, and V equals I times R. So you just cover up whichever one you want to know. Or you can just mathematically rearrange V equals I times R. So we'll do um, one example here. This is an Ohm's Law problem. We have a 6 volt battery and the bulb has a resistance of 150 ohms. When the flashlight's on, how much current will flow? So we redrew that as a schematic. And we said, what are we looking for? We want to know current. Okay. So when we look at the current, that means we want to know V divided by R all right, from our triangle. So that's 6 volts divided by 150 ohms, and we get 0 0.04 amps, or that's 40 milliamps. Okay. So I hope that helps you with just a quick review of a couple of concepts associated with electrical circuits.